que vamos a grabar. Here we go. So I'm going to just sit us up for a moment, stretch our spine, and let our hips loosen up. So if you want to, you know, cross the legs anywhere, maybe at the shins, and then take your hands to the hips, and then begin a sort of slow rock. Just feel um, the bones of your low back and the bones of your pelvis. Stretching, moving forward, pushing some weight into the sits bone, and then stretching, moving back. But same thing, see if you can kind of feel your weight here as you move the tailbone back and forth, and then how the weight moves into the sits, forward and back. Good. See, this kind of can't release your hips a little bit. So now let's take a moment, hold the weight even in the two sitting bones, and then stretch and reach your rib cage rib cages in opposition to the two sits bones. So one ribs, set of ribs reaching one way. As you reach your ribs to the left, push the opposite sitting bone down. So as I reach my ribs to the left, I'm going to push down with my right sitting bone. As I reach my ribs to the right, I'm going to push down with my left sitting bone. Okay, so letting this uh, anchoring action of the sits give you a deeper stretch. Good, so then let's let your rib cage move forward and back. So try that just a few times, moving the ribs forward and back. And again, letting this kind of wake up your core, loosen the torso. Good. And now from here, circles. Let the rib cage circle all the way around, really as you aim to anchor the hips and sits bones. And now let's take that. Same bed of circles about five times the other way. Good. Okay, so then if you move your arms up, bring your fingertips here to your collarbones, and then let's just circle the arms here a few times in the shoulder socket. As you knit your navel in and keep the humor of uh, the clavicle steady and the scapula steady, feel the humerus bones just float in your shoulder socket. Good. Change the direction. And then of course, just to, in case some of you haven't had all your coffee yet this morning, one arm forward, one arm back, and then change. Opposite arm forward and then back. Good. Okay, so now take your head down towards each palm and let the neck stretch. Good. This can be we're letting the weight of the head offer a little more stretch. Good. We'll inhale, take your hands behind the head for a moment. Open up your chest. Good. And then I'm going to bring my elbows down, sort of creating a big flexion at the front of my spine. Inhale, find a back bend, a little arch. And then exhale, rounding under, but feeling your belly muscles connected and strong. Inhale. Good, chest opens up, maybe even deeper stretch for your shoulders here, and then right back up. So now reach your rib cage over one thigh, sit tall, and then reach your rib cage over the other thigh, sitting tall, feel the weight of the head there, grounded, supported by your hands as you begin to wake up. Good, so again, as I reach my ribs to the right, I'm gonna pull down with my left sits bone, as I reach my ribs to the left, I pull down with the right sits bone to bring myself back up. Good. And then let's take a little pause, reach your two arms up in the air, and then out in front, open the arms, exhale, scoop the belly in, and then sit tall, wide arms, scoop the belly in, let the head melt forward, arms widen, inhale, and exhale. Good, inhale, sitting up. Exhale, run last time here. Let's inhale, sit tall, and now reach, reach, reach. Letting your torso fold over a little bit more. Good, and keep that sense of energetic opposition. So one sits on down. As you reach those same ribs the other way. Good, let's bring two arms to one side of the body. Sweep your torso all the way around, and then lift, reach other side. Good. All right. On this next round, I'm going to pause with my arms on the right side of my body and let my left leg lift up. From here, let's just bicycle the leg. So wake up a little blood flow. 
Feel that connection the whole way here from the sitting bone to the heel. So just watch that relationship as the knee bends and then the knee extends. Good, aiming for some evenness through the leg. Good, let's change the direction. Good, and then from here, pause with the leg out, down and up, five, four, three, two, one, reach the leg behind you, down and up, five, four, three, two, one, bend the back knee, set the leg down, and then rock the hips. Good, so again, continuing to loosen and warm up. Beautiful, so then from here, let's pause, lift the back leg, Sweep it back around, arms to the other side. Same thing. The, now my right leg is in the air, and I'm going to reach and really build, find that relationship between my heel and my sits bone, bending, and then pulling the heel back. Good. Stretching, reaching out, but all the while staying really concentrated in that relationship. Go ahead, change the direction. Aim for some lightness in the arm. Good. Lifting that femur bone to a consistent height. Let's pause with the leg forward, down and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Now reach the leg back, down and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, set it down behind you. Rock the pelvis forward and back. Good, getting a big stretch here. Beautiful, so now we're gonna pause, open up, reach that back leg to the short edge of the mat, front leg comes toward it. Here we go, arms up, this is my left side, facing the computer, and then I'm just gonna sweep the two arms forward, 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 and draw the elbows back. So again, watch where that movement is happening. Steady the clavicle, steady the shoulder blades, and then move your humerus bones with intention. Watch the movement. Take it the other way. Good. All right, so now with the arms extended, scoop the belly deep and come back. And from here, you're gonna pulse from the rib cage, 10 and nine and eight and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. One arm comes up, and then the other arm up. So try that, five, and four, and three. Belly staying strong and supported, two, and one. Now pause, I'm gonna take my um, two arms all the way up, take my opposite hand to thigh, tap and lift. Exhale, reach back, scoop the belly, tap and lift. Reach back and up, reaching back. Feel that weight grounded in the sits bone, good. All right, so now I am gonna pause on my left side, take my two arms out and pulse 10, nine, eight, seven. Really feel this alive in the oblique, sitting bones down. Four, three, two, one, two arms up. Opposite arm to thigh, good. Now the arms both float down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, sit it up, open the two legs, stretch, reach the spine forward, palms back, and lift, good. So feel the humerus bones float back from the rib cage. Good, and then lower alongside the rib cage. So as much as you can, adduct the arms, reach through the thumb, reach through the pinky, stretch through the back. Two, and one. Inhale, let's sit up. Pinkies now connect in front of the chest, scoop the belly deep, press the left leg down and reach the right leg up. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one, hold the leg lifted. Now pull the knee back towards the shoulder. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good, now you're gonna go from floor, extend the leg slightly to the knee. From the floor to the knee, do three more. Back and in, back and in, two, 
and one. Beautiful. Inhale, sit it up. And exhale, navel draws deep, float it back. Left leg, push the right leg down as the left leg lifts five and four and three and two and one. Good. Now pull the knee towards the shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. So now extend, let that leg lower slightly and then pull back towards the shoulder. Five and up, four and up, three and up two and up one and good inhale sit it up exhale close the two knees from here you're gonna exhale lower down just a hair more pause with the arms out now tuck the elbows into your sides pull the forearms right underneath the shoulders and then slowly 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 set the forearms here into the floor one leg up change the position of the two legs five and four and three and two keep the chest lifted and one now extend the left leg change five and four and three and two and one pause bicycle five and four and three and two and one change the direction five and four and three and two and one pause inhale and exhale let the two knees stay bent scoop the scapula from the floor inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four five extend the two legs inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four five lower one leg inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four five change the position of the two legs inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four five two legs down last two inhale two three four five exhale two three four five would be my base inhale two three four five exhale two three four five bend the knees feet to the floor head to the mat arms up and then exhale lift the pelvis up arm bones press down neck lengthens inhale and exhale push and lift inhale down two three and exhale up three two one inhale down two three and exhale lifting three two one inhale down two three and exhale three two one last time down two three let's hold the pelvis up three two one right heel taps five four three two one left heel goes five four three two one two heels up and then we'll go right left right left right left right left right left right left hold with just your left heel lifted pulse the sitting bones five four three two one left heel down right heel up pulse five four three two one good two heels up pulse five four three two one now tap the heels both down and up five four, three, two, one. Set the heels down, ball of the right foot, lifts and taps. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. And hold it lifted, lift the sitting bones. Five, four, three, two, one. Ball of the right foot down, lift the left, tap it. Five, four, three, two, one. Sitting bones. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go right, left, right, left right left right left right left right left now pause with both balls of the feet up lift the sits five four three two one let's go balls to heels five and four and three and two and one inhale lift the pelvis exhale lower those bones lift the two legs Lift the two arms from here, right arm, left leg circle, 
away from the body. And now they're going to circle back. Go ahead and make sure you have a nice flex in your left foot so you're getting a good stretch through the hamstring. Good. Left arm, right leg, circle away from the body. Check your shoulder, check your hip. How does it sound? Good, how do they sound? Circle the other way, five, four, three, two, and one. Interlace your two fingers, bring your right shin in, extend the left leg. Exhale, lift the head and chest up from the mat, gaze to the belly, change. You're gonna go 10 and nine and eight, and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Pause, hands behind the head, rotate your rib cage towards your right thigh and change. We're gonna go 10 and nine and make sure your weight isn't shifting through your hips, but that the low back is staying even Twist us through the ribs. You almost don't turn your head at all. You're really just twisting the rib cage. Two and one. Good pause. Extend the two legs. Here we go again. Ten and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one, good, exhale, pause. Lower your head for just a moment. Open the arms to a T-shape, turn the toes in, heels in. Toes in, heels in. Toes in, heels in. Toes, heels, toes, heels. Heels, hold them together and now circle the legs around and up. Circle the legs around and up. Circle the legs to the right, around and up, to the left around and up, pause, pull the heels together, interlace the fingers, exhale, pull the legs slightly closer towards your torso as you lift the head and chest, now reach head and chest and legs away from the torso and right back up. So really feel head and legs stretching in opposition, knitted together through your belly, and we're going to firm that connection each time, five, Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift four. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift three. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift two from deep inside. And one good pause. Turn the legs back to a parallel. Bend the knees, feet to the floor. Arms overhead, inhale. And now exhale, lift the pelvis right off of the mat again. And now with your pelvis lifted, just pick your left foot up and tap it all the way in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set it down. Lift the right foot just half an inch off of the floor. Same thing. Tap. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pause. Now lift the knee over the hip. Tap down and up. 5 and 4 and 3 and two, and one. Hold the leg lifted, stretch it out and in. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good, hold the leg up, down and up. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Good, ankle to the thigh, lift the sitting bones. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, and exhale, release those bones, hands here back behind the right thigh, get a little stretch, very nice, and then from here, set the left foot down, and you're going to lift the pelvis up, good, and then with this right foot, tap it down and up, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, stretch the leg out and in, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, good, leg down and up, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, ankle to the thigh, pulse the sitting bones, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, inhale. And exhale, lower the bones of the back down nice and slow. Hands behind the left thigh, stretch the right hip. Good. Unfold the right leg. Now take two hands behind the thighs. Exhale, rock to a seated position. Find the sitting bones. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Then go right to the belly. Let it pull in. Find the shoulder blades back here. And then exhale, let's lift. If that went great, go ahead, work on extending your right leg, perhaps even taking that hand there to the ankle. Keep the left hand behind the thigh. Exhale, rock the weight back. And up, back to the sits. Changing sides. So left hand now behind the ankle, pull back with the arm bone. Right hand behind the right thigh, inhale. And exhale, rock it back. And up, good enough, that went great. Two hands, two ankles. Shoulder blades together, inhale, and exhale, rock it back, and up. Good, try that one more time, rock it back, and up. Pause up here, hands behind your shoulders for just a moment. Draw three circles to the left with two legs, three and two. And one, good. Three circles to the right. These can be of any size. Three and two and one, good. Flex the feet, open the legs, sit tall. Stretch your spine forward. Inhale, sit it up. And exhale, reach the fingertips out, the toes out as you slowly begin to lower the bones of the back down to the floor, bone by bone. Here we go, let's try that again. Inhale, arms to your sides, lift the head, the shoulders, pull into your center, reach out through the limbs, feel, find that energetic opposition, and then we're up. Stretch forward, one, two, three. Inhale, sit tall, two, three, knit the belly, hold on to it as we lower, five, four, three, two, one, inhale. And exhale, head, shoulders, shoulder blades, rear cage, all the way back up. Okay, so now try this. Um, raise the right leg, tap it down and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it lifted, pull in at the belly, and we'll lower once again, down, down, down. Inhale, feel that energetic opposition, knitting the body together. Lift the head, the shoulders, Shoulder blades press the left heel down as the right leg raises. Good. All right. Left leg up. Taps five, four, three, two, one. Hold it lifted. Scoop the belly. And here we go. Down five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. And exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend your left knee. Bend the right knee. We're going to lower to the mat. Exhale coming down. Slowly, slowly, slowly watch the bones of the back as you lower. Palms here down to your sides. So put a, put a prop on your pelvis if you need that for rollovers. So try a little circle with the legs, knees either bent or legs extended out, down and around. Now press the arms down to lift the thighs up. And you're gonna take your toes down and the thighs up to the sky, scoop the belly. Feel that big stretch through the low back, supported by your abdomen. Then let the bones of the back slowly return to the floor. So you could use a prop like that behind you, or you could just try this without, oh, that's not a good place for that. So inhale, circle the legs out and around, and then Exhale, scoop the belly deep as the arm bones press into the floor. Good, all right. So then you can practice just lifting one leg for a moment and then just the other leg for a moment. We're gonna exhale, lower that back down. Now this time, I want you to keep that same sense of firmness through the arms, but the arms are overhead. And you're gonna exhale, take 
your feet to your hands. Let one leg come up as much as it can safely with your weight held by your core. So glutes and hamstrings are lifting and extending the leg. And then your weight is balanced on the shoulder blades and shoulders. Uh, exhale, releasing that down. Try perhaps one more time with each leg. If this feels okay, this is called control balance. Beautiful. So now from your control balance, can you take the hands behind the thighs, rock up to seated position, hold the arms up, lift the legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, from deep in the belly, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend the knees, palms under your shoulders, let the fingertips either face back towards the body or come up for fists for wrists. And we're going to push to lift, left leg down and up, 5, and 4, and 3, and 2, and one, left leg down, right leg lifts, five, four, and three. So watch where that weight is being held, two, and one. Good, exhale, lower down. Once again, find the forearms. So you're gonna press the forearms in, extend the two legs out. I'm gonna make sure I have all of me on the mat here. And then lift my pelvis off of the floor. Just hold the pelvis lifted for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down. Inhale, push with the arms. Exhale, arms move wide and then up. You're going to twist through the ribs and then extend and reach through the arms. One arm reaches back, other arm reaches forward. Inhale and exhale, pulse and pulse. Inhale, exhale, twist, reach, pulse, 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 and pulse. One more time, inhale, exhale, twist, reach, pulse, and pulse. Good. Hold. Walk the weight back up on the sits bones. Right and left, lift the two legs. Extend the right leg. And we're gonna lower down. Three, two, one. Hold the arms up. One knee bent, one leg straightened. Inhale, arms float to your sides. Lift the head, the shoulders, all the while belly drawing deep as the bones of the back peel up from the floor. Change legs. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower, 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 lower. Feel that gravity. Take gravity with your belly. Inhale. Lift the head, the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the rib cage. All the way up. Two legs, two arms. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Three, two, one. Inhale. And exhale, lifting once again. Head all the way back up pause feet to the floor arms underneath you lift right leg down and up five and four and three and two and one good exhale opposite leg lifts five four three and two and one inhale set it down lift the hips and pelvis all the way back up Bend the knees, stay soft. Come stretch forward, take the arms up. Good. And then let's exhale, take. Take your two hands here to the outsides of the ankles. Just get a little stretch through your hips. Release the hands. Right leg over the left, change the cross. Five and four. And three and two and one. Good. Hug the legs back in towards the body and then unfold. So you'll bring yourself onto all fours here. Good. And then from here, take a little cat cast, the head 
She moves under and then back. We're gonna move the head and tailbone towards each other and then away. Good, one more time, big round. Out into an arch and then we'll find a neutral spine tucking up so that the spine is neither in a round or in a big arch, but in that happy medium. Walk your right fingertips out, take the left leg, and here you go. You'll come down and up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take the right hand to the low back, bend and straighten the knee. Let's go 5, and 4, and 3, and 2, and 1. Hold with the knee bent, down and up through the femur. 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knee moves down, and exhale, weight moves back, two arms up, create a little undulation through the spine, exhale, stack it up, move the arms up, undulate through the spine, hold the belly deep, right back up, this time we're going to hold in that long spine, and from here, you'll walk your left fingertips out, the right leg, and they're gonna lift together, lower together, 10, with shoulders, ribs, hips steady. Exhale, reach the limbs, five, four, three, two, one. Hand to the low back, bend and straighten the knee. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one, hold the knee lifted, down and up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The knee moves down, the two arms reach up, pulse the thighs, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tuck the pelvis underneath you, pulse the thighs, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale. And exhale, a long reach out, set the forearms on the floor, curl the 10 toes underneath you. Same thing, bend and straighten the knees here, just down and up, tailbone nice and tall. So you're just gonna try this a few times, down, two, three, exhale, lift, two, three, take it down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, and hold. So try to keep your hips even, Lift your left foot off of the floor, bend with the right knee, five, and so just knee under the hip, right back up, three, and two, and one. Now the left knee comes down and up, reach to the sky, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Now hold, extend the knee joint, five little circles, five, four, three, two, one, other way, five, four, three, two, and one. The knee bends, the leg moves down. Try that on the other side. So just with the left knee, it bends under the hip, and then it lifts. So we're gonna come five, exhale, four, and three, and two, and one. Knee joint up, five, exhale, lift, four, Good, so just feel the femur bones stretch up in the hip socket, two, and one. Extend the leg, five, four little circles, three, two, one, other way, five, four, three, two, and one. The leg lowers, you reach it back, the left leg lowers, find a forearm plank, rock that forearm plank. Here we go for 10 and nine. And eight, belly scooped up, seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Hold the weight reaching back through the heels, rotate onto one arm, and down and up through the thighs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sweeping the arm around. Reach the heels back and rotate onto the other side. Same thing, down and up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, rotate through your center. Tap your right knee in, the left knee in. Hips lower to the mat. Push the palms in, lift the head up. Chin over one shoulder. Inhale, center. Chin over the other shoulder. Good, press the palms in, lengthen the arms, chin up. Good, and then let the forearms move out, lower the head. Lift the right leg. Good, and let it come down like the other leg. Keep the hips even as you do this. So just try a few times, one leg lift, and then the other leg lifts, watch your hips. So you don't wanna feel the hip bones rocking with the lift of the femur, but instead keep the hip bones even as each leg comes up. All right, so lift a leg, bend and straighten the knee, lower it right back down. Lift a leg, bend and straighten the knee, and allow the leg to lower. Lift, bend, straighten, and down. We'll lift, bend, straighten, and down. Good, so now try, lift two legs off of the mat, bend one knee, and straighten, bend a knee, and straighten, bend a knee, and straighten. And now slowly let the legs alternate here without the knee joints flopping. Good. And we'll go five and four and three and two and one. Good pause. Let your two legs come back down and rock the hips side to side. From here, turn your heels in your toes out, lift the two legs, and now beat the two heels. Take 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now hold the right leg steady and beat the left heel into it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Hold the left leg steady, beat the right heel into it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Bend both knees, relax the thighs for a moment, rock the back, heels together, toes apart. And now from here, lift the thigh bones. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set the thigh bones down and lengthen the two legs. Now push the arms into the floor. Lift your sternum. Good, so now let the sternum come down slow. Lift the two legs. All right, try that again. Arms press down as the legs, your arms extend as the legs lower. Lower the arms, let the two legs lift. Couple more, push down, two, three. Good, and exhale, up, two, three. Good, push down, two, three, lift. Now from here, I want you to slowly set the sternum down, extend the arms, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, three more, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, keep the head lifted, exhale, two, three, four, five, last time, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Go ahead, roll the body away from the computer screen. You can keep your top hand in front of you to help you balance, or take your top hand to the hip. Thigh bones down and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Top leg into the bottom leg, five and four and three, and two, and one. Good, bottom leg into the top leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Bottom leg forward, top leg back, and change, and change, and change, and change, and change, and change. Hold the top leg forward, down and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bottom leg down and up. Five, Four, three, two, one. Change the two legs. Top leg down and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Bottom leg down and up. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Set the two legs down. Take your top hand up. And then I'm gonna try something whack. Can you just lift the hips right here? Big stretch, bend the knees, switching sides. Let's try that. Otro lado, here we go. So, rest your head, but let the bottom rib cage try to lift from the floor. The hand can be in front of you or on the top hip. Here we go, down and up, 10, nine. So feel that coordination between the glutes and the inner thighs, the belly, holding your torso, five, four, three, two, one, top leg, down and up, five, four, three, two, one, bottom leg, five, four, three, two, one, top leg forward, bottom leg back, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, let's pause with the top leg forward, down and up, five, four, three, Two, one, change, uh, bottom leg down and up. Five, four, three, two, one, change the position of the two legs. Top leg down and up. Five, four, three, two, one, bottom leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, can you push the two legs into the floor? Top arm pulls down. Bottom arm pulls beneath you, and then exhale, rise up into a little side plank. Good. Good, and lower the head. I'm going to take my top arm next to my bottom hand, lock that opposite leg underneath me, and now take a little down dog. So in your down dog today, let's try this. Bend and straighten the knees and lift the hips and pelvis. You're gonna bend and straighten. Lower, exhale, lift. Lower, good. Get a big round in your butt. Exhale, lift, lower, and exhale, lift. From here, just walk your hands back towards your feet. Get a big stretch through the legs. Shake your head no, nod it yes. And you can fold up your blanket. I'll check the time and we're gonna work on weights. So lifting weights now, now or never, lift the weights. Good, so weights here in your two hands. And just pause for a moment, pull the elbows just slightly wide so you feel a little firming there, anchor your heels, circle the two weights out at your sides, three and two, and one, now circle back the other way, three, and two, and one, good. Lift your right arm slightly, circle the two weights, three, and two, and one, other way, circle, three, and two, and one, change the position of the two weights, circle, three, two, and one, other way, circle, three, and two, and one, two weights out, circle three, two, and one, other way, circle three, two, and one, one arm up, other arm still at the side, circle three, two, one, other way, circle three, two, and one, switching side, circle three, and two, try to relax the neck, one, other way, three, two, one, two arms up, circle three, two, and one other way, circle three, two, and one. Bring the elbows in, reach the thighs back, sweep the arms up and then lower down. So we're gonna come up to three, move it down to three, reach it up to three, move it down to three, reach it up to three, move it down to three, up to three, down to three. Hold in the down pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sweep it out and lift. Down, reaching out 
and lift down, reaching out and lift down, out and lift down, out and lift, hold on the down. This time raise one heel and pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other heel, 5, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Of course, two heels, 10, and 9, and 8, and 7, 6, 5. Light little pulses, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heels down, turn them in, tailbone moves underneath you. Inhale, arms float in front, sweep the arms and lower. Then open and extend. Then open and extend. Good. Feel a little stretch in the Achilles as the pelvis lowers. Good. Let's pause with the knees bent and the arms up. Raise one knee, pulse five, four, three, two, one. Other knee, pulse five, four, three, two, one. Two knees, pulse 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the bend, open the arms, five, and back, four, and back three, and back, two, and back, one, hold, uh, one arm crosses the body, and it moves right back up, opposite arm crosses the body, moves right back up, one arm crosses, and up, other arm crosses, and up, two weights, pulse again, ten, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, feel that up through the back to the legs, three and two and one. Heels down, arms down. Step the two weights. I mean, those are called feet, a little bit wider. So now arms move through the center. We circle out and up and down. Out, arms out, then down. Knees bend right over the heels. Beautiful, hold up here, tap and up, reach, tap and up, reach, tap and up, reaching, tap and up, coming, tap and up, tap and up. One more each side, tap and up, tap and up. Good, pause, deep in this bend in your center, Reach across and back, 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 reach across and back. Good, then deepen in the center, reach out two weights and in, out and in, out and in, three more, reach three, and in, reaching two, and in, reaching one, and in, good pause, right heel, five, four, three, two, one, left heel, five, four, three, two, one, two heels, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the heels, weights up, and back in, weights up, and back in, up, and in, up, and in. Hold the weights up, tap the, tap the weights together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now bend and straighten the knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, heels down, turn the 10 toes in and let your torso come and stretch in between the two legs. 
arms can stretch and reach out. I'm gonna reach my right arm as far out as I can and then take my left arm underneath me towards my right ankle. Look under that ankle, pull back with my left elbow. Go ahead, do the reverse of that. Take my left arm out as much as I can. Right hand to my left ankle. Pull the elbow back and stretch underneath me. Good, now I'm gonna turn my whole body towards my right side and take two arms to the outside of that leg. Good, really press the back heel into the floor, big stretch, pivot my weight and stretch across my body. I really feel the heels anchored, reaching back. And now from here, turn the whole body back towards facing forward. Push your weight into the feet, rising up. Step the two feet together. And we'll call that a class. Good work, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day.